Hello everyone. So in this video, we'll discuss about the patch solution in the Dynamics 365. In the last videos, we have seen the uh, ma managed solution and the managed solution, how we can export and import into the target instance and what are the limitations with that we have in the Dynamics. So in this video, before I proceed to the uh, uh, this more descriptive about the patch solutions, let me quickly tell you about the differences between the uh, unmanaged solutions and the managed solutions. What will happen? So when you install the unmanaged solutions in uh, the Dynamics, then it will be impacting directly your system solutions. So any changes which is included in our unmanaged solution, it will be modifying the existing system solutions and it will merging the changes with that directly so when you when you remove the solutions then those changes will be still existing in the dynamics and those changes we have to remove individually by selecting one by one okay the next is uh, in the managed solutions when we install the uh, managed solutions to the dynamics so it will be deploying on the top of the system solution but the changes included in the managed solutions it will be contained in the separate package means the when you remove this component this managed solution then this uh, co components associated with that managed solutions will be get removed uh, with that package so unlike in the ma unmanaged solution the component still will be there with the default solution but in the case of managed solutions it will get removed so that is the uh, actually point, uh, the difference between the managed and unmanaged solutions. Another is the data loss and the and data loss and the risk involved with that. Since when you are removing the managed solution, then an entity or the components which you have created, and if there is a data associated with that, then that will be get lost when it is uninstalled. And when it is uh, when in case of unmanaged. Uh, since the, we have deleted the solution, but the component is still present, so data associated that field will be or field or components will be still there, but uh, it will get removed unless we have deleted those entity from system individually. Right? That's one difference. The another key point we should keep in mind is that we cannot install the unmanaged solution on the top of managed solution, like the same solutions. Uh, like say in the dynamics I have say one solution here this one and I have exported this solution first as a managed solution I have installed this into my target instance now again I have installed this uh, I have exported this solution as a uh, unmanaged solution and I'm going to install that unmanaged solution on the top of the previous installed managed solution then in that case it will not happen you cannot install the same solution two times manage and manage so it should be only once however if there is another solution which is contained the sim simple uh, si sorry uh, several components along with that existing one what you have already deployed then you can install that but the same solution you cannot install on the top of manage uh, you can you cannot install uh, unmanaged solution on the top of manage or the vice versa like you cannot install the managed solution on the top of same solution already installed as a unmanaged solution so there is a limitation we should keep in mind before we installing the uh, solution in your target instance okay so these are the quick differences i just wanted to share with you okay now let's go to the patch solution so here we have some uh, patch solutions uh, some uh, points we should keep in mind uh, before we use the patch in the dynamics so let's discuss this the patch solutions apply to the either managed or unmanaged solutions and include only the changes to the entities or the related entities assets. So here the when we vindicate the patch from the system so we can use the managed or unmanaged solutions. We can, uh, we can include uh, we can put the patch for both managed and unmanaged and the components it can have the entities and it have any related entities we can include those components too. Okay, next we can get the patch from the system using the clone as patch. So in when in the system when you select the clone as patch uh, by selecting the one particular solution, then it will create the patch solution for that. Okay, and it will ask you to select the version of the patch. So we can install the patch solution to the target if the parent solution is already deployed. So means uh, let me 
show you that these two points so we can install the patch solution in the target instance if the parent solution is already deployed and regarding this point so here in the dynamics when you select this uh, solution say this is my solution which i'm going to mo uh, which i'm going to show you in the demo so these solutions we can use this option here called clone as clone a patch here when you select this then it will ask you the version to be version number to be given here and you can see you can modify only the uh, release and the build number but you cannot modify the major and minor okay and once you save that then it will create the patch solution with the for this solution okay and also before we deploy the patch solution we have to make sure this base solution on which you are creating the patch this patch solution has to be deployed in your target instance if the base solution is not found then it will not deploy your patch solution and also this base solution it should be not the patch solution like you cannot get the patch from the patch okay it should be from the another base solutions or from that only you can get the patch so that is the point of this two uh, that, that is the point uh, for this two I am going to explain here okay next is we can install we cannot install the unmanaged patch to the uh, ma to the managed base solutions it should be managed base base solutions it should match the base solution here in the uh, in the dynamics here uh, say this is the unmanaged solution and here you have the base solution you have installed that as a managed one and the patch you have created uh, created from the solution it should be exported as managed only then only you can uh, then you can import the uh, patch solution on the top of the base managed solution if you export this patch as unmanaged and try to install on the managed base solution then it will not happen you cannot install that so that is the point here next is we cannot remove the component from solution using patch it supports adding or updating the components yes so any any components like well any deleting the component from system it we cannot we cannot do that using the solution management so we have to delete manually and the patch supports uh, adding the components adding the new components or uh, updating the existing components so only those two mostly those two comp those two uh, uh, those two uh, uh, requirements we will doing we will be doing using the patch solution next is the version number so patch version number uh, the version number of the patch must have the same major and minor number but we should uh, update the build or release number every time when we deploy the new patch so as i mentioned before when we clone the patch here clone a patch so you can see only the major uh, sorry major uh, major minor will be the same but build and release will be changing and every time when we are creating the new patch and going to deploy then we have to increase this number so if you if you if you deploy with the same version number then you will have the error okay and the next is the patch uh, patch solution uh, type feature is available from CRM uh, versions 8.0 or higher so this patch feature came in the CRM 2000 uh, latest version of the CRM uh, CRM 2016 onwards and higher version of that so this is the important feature the Microsoft has added and this is very beneficial when we are after the after the major deployment and we have some a small change to be sent immediately on the urgent basis then we can use the patch solution for that so now let's see the demo of this so here are it as I mentioned so this is the my uh, demo solution here so uh, inside this uh, demo solution uh, I'm going to clone as patch and uh, this is my target instance you can see this solution is not deployed in my target instance so let's take this example first so like uh, this one so if the if the patch is not patch solution is not uh, finding the base solution in the target then it will not deploy right so first I'm going to clone the patch this one for this clone patch okay I'm going to increment this version number already it is incremented by one you can see the base version is 1.0.0.0 so when I clone the patch, it is 1.0.1.0. Okay, so going to save this. So refresh, and you can see the patch for this is created here. Okay, so this is a patch. I'll export this patch, and what I'll do, I'll use this manage solution as a properties for this. Okay, so I'm going to export this first. So going to export this. So but before that, uh. uh sorry uh, before exporting that I have to include my change what I'm going to do here right so what I'm going to do is uh, for this 
for this entity here, I'm going to include this entity and I will include all the components associated this entity, right? So in the, in the patch here, patch solutions, I'm going to include the uh, existing entity here. So this is my entity, I'll include this. And inside that, I will not add all the assets, not entity metadata. I'm going to change the field here. So I will select the field and I'll take this name here, okay? I'll take this name, I'm going to finish this. So only I'm going to modify only the particular field that is name field in this my patch, okay? So finish this. And I don't want to include any required components. So when you use the required component, then whatever the entities and their related required components are there, it will be included in your solution. So I don't want to include here. So I'll select this option and click OK. So you can see for my entity, this one, I will have only fields, this one associated. I don't have any other components added here, right? So I will going to export this as a managed one. I'm going to use this as a manage export. So my package is exported here. So I'll go to my target instance here. I will try to improve, import that um ma uh, managed patch solution but the thing is uh, the my base solution is not here so it will not allow me to install that so i'll select this and try to install this you can say you cannot import the patch for the solution because the solution is not present the base solution is not present here so that is why we have error so what i'm going to do uh, i have to delete my patch so i have deleted the patch now i'm going to export this solution as my uh, ex uh, ma as a managed solution and I'll install into the my target instance. So I'll open this solution and going to export this. Okay. I'll take this as a managed and the patch I will create from this also I'll export it as a managed. So my package is exported here. Now I I, I'm going to deploy to my target instance here. So I'll import that. OK. So my package is imported here. I'll close this. So here uh, I, in this entity, I will have the updated change here. So to view that, I can go to my default solution here. Okay, entities and Here is my custom entity, it is coming here, right? So say uh, some XYZ region, I want to update some components of this uh, uh, entity. So like say, uh, I want to make uh, some this field, some change on this uh, this field, name field. And you know, this is business required. I want to make this as a business recommended or optional like that. And then some uh, length characters I want to change. So for that, uh, I will be using the patch solution for this, okay? So again, I'll go to the, my solution and I will create the patch for this solution and I will keep the same name here and uh, this patch is created and inside the patch I will include that particular field the name field from the existing entity here
I don't want to include all the assets. In, I don't want to include entity metadata, only the field and that is the name field here. This name field I will be I will be doing some change. So I have added that component and also I don't want to include any required component. So I have, I have, I have selected this option. So it is included now. For this entity, for this field, this one, I'm going to modify that. So I'm going to make this as a optional and the character length say around 10. Okay, save and close. So now you can see this is a small fix, uh, a small change. We are going to do some components, a small components and this, this fix we are going to deploy using the patch solution. So now it is updated. I will select my entity and publish this. Okay, it is updated. Now I'll select the component and export this solution as a manage because I have I have selected the previous solution as a manage one. Okay, so I'll select this. I'll select this managed. Okay, and export. So patch is exported now. So I'm going to deploy that onto the target instance now. So this is the my target instance now. So I'll go to the solution. Import. So this is my patch which is exported as managed. So let's select this. Now my patch solution is imported here and I will close this and try to refresh this default solution again. I will try to see the modification has a applied or not on the name field of the my custom entity which I have included here. fields and here in the name field I'll open this and you can see the field has been changed now it is optional and the, the maximum length is also now 10 so this is how you can use the patch solution for your uh, uh, small fixes in your uh, uh, in your solutions and I hope you have understood the all the solutions and managed manage and patch solutions how to use and what are the limitations and thank you for watching this video guys